I met my now husband about six and a half years ago. On one of our first dates, he sits me down and he tells me he's a professional wrestling fan. Me, never watching wrestling before in my life, had absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into. And he decides to give me a little taste of professional wrestling. And you'll never guess what he has me watch. Terry Funk versus Sabu barbed wire match. My first impressions of professional wrestling, um, not so great. (laughs) Uh, Fast forward a couple months later, and Rhino was scheduled to be in Holland, Michigan for an independent show. My other half was super excited, and I agreed to go to the show with him, not really knowing what to expect. That show was amazing. During the match, Rhino and his opponent, Ace Evans, actually came into the seats and landed directly on my purse, which I found hilarious at the time. From that day on, we started following this independent wrestling promotion, and my husband and I got married this past November. These shows and wrestling as a whole has made us closer, and we still talk about how nice Rhino is and how he was really the one that, in the beginning, made our relationship blossom. Well, first of all, you sound very open-minded. You sound like a great sport. You seem great. I'm glad you two found each other. I know you were stuck on the idea of Rhino and Rhino falling in your lap and him being a part of the wrestling show that you went on a date to. But the thing I took away from this, and I hope everybody took away from it, and you led with it too, so it was important, was that was the first thing he showed you, was Sabu and Terry Funk in a barbed wire match. A red flag for anyone else except you. I loved this call so much, I talked about it in the AEW locker room with some of the wrestlers. We were talking about how to get new fans and showing people wrestling for the first time, and I was like, oh, I just got a call about a man trying to court a woman and saying, you gotta see wrestling Watch Terry Funk versus Sabu in a barbed wire match. That's ridiculous. Sir, you're ridiculous. Ma'am, you're ridiculous for being like, all right, let's see what else is next. I think I would have ran. I mean, I love wrestling so much, especially past wrestling, especially the ECW era. But even I think if I met a lady and she was like, I love this, check this out, I'd be like, "Ah, I'm going to pass, but not you. You found the love of your life, and now you're deep in it. Welcome to wrestling. There's more than just Terry Funk and Sabu, but Terry Funk and Sabu is pretty great. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. While you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.